So I'm here today to unbox this Fender Mexican Standard Stratocaster with the plus top. So any Mexican Standard that you buy will basically come with the same thing that's included in this box. And I broke it open but I haven't taken the contents out yet so let's see what comes inside, how it's packed and what's included for you. So with ships like this, this is the standard box that Fender ships the distributors to. And it will come to you in the same type of packaging. And basically the inside of the box is stuffed as you can see. Okay, take this out for now. There's a bunch more. And basically, you can see that's the headstock of the guitar so they basically just stick it in the box and wrap it around with this loose paper doesn't even include a gig bag or anything like that it does come in here is uh, this basically you got your whammy bar in this packaging. You have an owner's guide, a registration guide. There's a fender sticker in there. A limited lifetime warranty that's really on the wood, not really the electronics and everything else just have a one year warranty. And there's something else in there. Let, why don't I just open this while I'm at it. So here's your lifetime warranty. more warranty information and a little owner's manual which is more like a sales pitch but shows you how to tighten the truss rod and whatnot. This should also be in here yet. There's two little allen wrenches. This one is for tightening the truss rod. This one right here is for adjusting the height on your strings of the saddle of the bridge. Um, down here some more owner manual stuff. A registration guide which you're going to want to send in. It helps keep your info on file in case you make a warranty claim. This just shows you the different type of headstocks that Fender has. It also gives you different registration numbers. And there's a good old Fender sticker, Fender.com. The way bar comes in here, so let's put this on the side for now and get back to unraveling all this paper. I'm not trying to kill the last piece for this. And what's left is your guitar wrapped like this. And just wrap with a little bit of tape right there to seal it off. Now I'm just going to bring my chair over here so we can open and see what's going on. I'm not much of a big fan of the Mexican made guitars, but I happen to really like this finish. I'm going to swap out the pickups, swap out the bridge, swap out the pots, probably the selector switch, and probably rewire it. Has a nice satin finish on the neck. This is, of course, the rosewood model. And what you get attached here is a little card that has a signature of everyone who worked on the card so whoever did the prepping, the assembly, uh, the tuning and testing and then the final inspection of the guitar. I don't know if you can see what you can see but the flame on this guitar is beautiful. It's not book matched or anything but it does look stunning. This is the tobacco burst finish. This guitar 
also comes in the standard colors of the Mexican standard and comes in cherry burst too. And it's the same price as a regular Mexican standard. There's nothing additional on it. The setup looks pretty good. There is a bunch of dust and dirt over here. Probably has been sitting there for a while. And this is a... Let me see if this can focus in there. This is a 2015 model. So we're at the end of 2015 now. <coughs> November. And here you can see the back of the guitar. The finish on it is absolutely stunning. The tobacco that's on the edges is more like a wine color, really. And so that's how any Mexican standard will come. They don't include a gig bag, they don't include anything like that. But they're shipped right out of the factory in the box like that, surrounded by a bunch of paper and that little nylon bag. And um, if you can see, this is a three layered pickguard, white, black, white. There's standard pickups that come in the Mexican, the regular six screw tremolo block and bridge. I prefer the two point tremolo, but it doesn't really make a difference because I don't use the tremolo much anyway, so. I'll probably just tighten the screws down, although you should be careful. Since this is the plus top, the veneer, that's the maple on top is really thin. It's one eighth of an inch thick. So if you put tighten the bridge down too much by adjusting the screws back here and and stretching out the springs that connect the the trem block to the guitar then what could happen is this could crack. I've had that happen on guitars that have the little thin tops. The veneer could start cracking right underneath here at the corner so you want to be careful with doing that not to put too much pressure if you're going to tighten it down and block off the trim. There's a plastic covering on top of the pick guard of course. I'm probably going to swap out the whole pick guard and put in a Perloid one. Let me make a video on that. Here you have the little string tree. I personally prefer the rolling one that comes on the US standard, so I'll swap that out. Everything else is standard. There's nothing on this guitar that's different from a regular Mexican strap. The finish on the neck is really nice. It's a nine point to five inches. There's a lot of dust and dirt on this guitar, to tell you the truth. I'm going to have to give it a nice cleaning. But basically, if you're going to be buying any Fender Strat, that's what's going to come with it. And that's how it's going to be packaged to you, brand new. And if you usually play them right out of the box, they're sort of needs to be tuned up. So, subscribe to my videos if you like this. It's a beautiful guitar. I think I've showed it to you enough. Thanks for watching.